So it's always fun to see guys compete at different sports. It's a good way to kind of kick off the spring semester. You can learn a lot from guys from, from a mental standpoint and just, just see how they handle the ups and downs and, and just see how they compete. The week coming back, I think it's important just to get people competing and stuff like that and then it brings us a lot closer doing different activities. I think especially like being gone a month and being the first time we all get together just kind of like uh, brewing that competitiveness again and getting us all back into the groove. It's hard to kind of hit practice you know full speed right away so you know those long days being like broken up into like you know fun stuff that's you know with your boys with the team. I think it's actually pretty crucial to having a good team you know camaraderie. I actually thought the football the way we did it this year with the throwing for accuracy yeah! And the punts in the corners. I thought that was really fun. Oh! That's two. Two! <laughs> so we did throwing, punting, and kicking. So the kicking was you had to make two out of the three kicks after one warm up from the 10, and then you move back to the 20, and it's two out of three. And then you just keep going back from there, basically, and each time you make a kick is points for your team. The throwing was three throws, 10 yards, 20 yards, and 30 yards. And you got a point pretty much for every throw you hit. And then the more you move back, the more points you get. And then the punting was four punts inside the five. The closer you are to the one yard line, the more points you get. I think the basketball one is always really fun. It's because, you know, it's not at the indoor. It's like a completely separate thing. You know, we all get to wear our jerseys. We do the free throws first, you know, everybody's split up. I think we had like six hoops. You shoot 10 free throws each. Hey. Yeah. Two, let's go. And ended up working out that everybody who made either nine or 10 moved on to the final round and all of them shot 10. After that, we did knockout. Give me a black team between uh, Inns and Jackson. I'd prefer a gold team. Do we have a gold team first? I think it was the last two or three from each group. They were able to move on to like the big knockout game. I like to, to get the guys working together in teams to where they got a plan, you know, at the beginning of the week for their videos. So for the video, uh, Goody just kind of picks a prompt every year. This year it was NFL postgame interviews with the playoffs coming up. So he kind of gives some ground rules, like it's got to be five minutes and got to have like X amount of people participating. But other than that, it's just kind of completely in our hands to, you know, um, see whatever we do with it. Mike, can you comment on how far Tom Brady can throw the ball? No comment. Thank you. <laughs> Even though it's not like technically a competition day, everyone always loves when we're all watching the videos, you know. They're kind of hard to work on, but like when you're seeing everybody's videos and everyone's laughing, it's a good time. You can tell a lot by guys, especially when they're not good at something and just how well they can find a way or they can just shy away from it so you can learn a lot it's a good psychological thing i think it's fun you know the guys can laugh at each other but they can also compete 
Just getting them around together, the more we can be together going into the season or leading up to the season, it pays dividends from a team standpoint and uh, having some fun with it too. I think it's just a good way to, to kick, off the, kick off the year.